Thank you, uh, uh, Executive Secretary Luke Bersamin. And of course, please, thank you, please take your seats. Uh, Vice President Sara Duterte, members of the cabinet, uh, yung iba na uh, na. So you're going to have to hold down the fort in the meantime. Uh, Pasay Lone District Representative uh, Antonino Calixto, uh, Chief of Staff uh, General uh, Romeo Browner, uh, Philippine National Police Chief uh, General uh, Romel Marbil, uh, Coast Guard Commandant, who's been uh, very busy in the past few uh, days, uh, Admiral uh, Ronnie uh, Gavan, fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today I leave for Washington, D.C. to attend the first Philippine-U.S.-Japan Trilateral Summit. It is a historic meeting, and I'll be meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden and Japanese uh, Prime Minister Kishida Fumio, and it is aimed at advancing trilateral cooperation between our three countries, which have long enjoyed warm and friendly relations and robust cooperation. This visit builds upon my free previous meeting with Prime Minister Kishida and U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris last September in Jakarta. Uh, during This was actually a, what, the, what they, they called in diplomatic circles a pull-aside, where uh, uh, during the uh, uh, farewell dinner um, in, of ASEAN, because uh, it was the last uh, summit that uh, uh, Indonesia was uh, chairing, uh, we had a pull aside and uh, uh, we talked uh, quite, uh, uh, quite comprehensively about uh, the idea of having this trilateral agreement. Uh, this was also the, the, the follow up to this was held with our uh, foreign ministers and our national security advisors last year. During this uh, summit, I will underscore. The, the importance of enhancing our continued economic cooperation with a view of promoting economic resilience and, of course, security. I intend to explore ways of advancing cooperation, especially in the areas of critical infrastructure, semiconductors, digitalization and cybersecurity, critical minerals, renewable energy, as well as defense and maritime cooperation. It is my intention also to exchange views with my U.S. and Japanese counterparts on various regional security issues of mutual concern, while continuing to reiterate the importance of upholding the rule of law and preserving the rules-based international order in the Indo-Pacific region. On the margins of the summit, I will also have a bilateral meeting with U.S. President Biden, uh, just a couple of uh, I think he's also going to have that bilateral meeting with uh, Prime Minister Kishida, where we will continue our discussions on strengthening further this the, our alliance uh, between our two countries, and also to meet with U.S. business leaders to invite them once again to invest in the Philippines. I uh, look forward to uh, moving the discussion uh, to a, uh, a, a progressive discussion uh, so that uh, what our intention really is, is to strengthen the partnerships between our three countries, between the United States, Japan, and the Philippines. It is not, uh, it is mainly a, uh, an agreement to strengthen the cooperation on the economic front. Of course, security and defense is going to be part of that discussion. But nonetheless, uh, I think I can assure everyone that that is not the main intent of this trilateral agreement. Uh, the main intent of this trilateral agreement is for us to be able to continue to flourish, to be able to help one another, and of course, to keep the South China Sea as a, uh, as a freedom, uh, to keep the peace in the South China Sea and the freedom of navigation in the South China Sea. Uh, to that end, um, this is the, the, the details of that are what we are going to be discussing very, very soon. And uh, I hope to come back with some good results uh, in the next few days. Thank you very much and good afternoon.